Hello everyone and welcome to Mod of the Week, or more accurately in this case mods plural, because you know what's better than one great mod? Multiple great mods. Honestly that applies to a lot of things, except like, I don't know, the Grievous Wound. You don't want more than one Grievous, I mean you don't even want the initial. A grievous wound. Then again, I wouldn't describe a grievous wound as great. Then again, if it's like a huge part of you that has been missing, like ripped away by an explosion, like that is a great wound, you know, in like scope and scale, like a great mountain. But it's not great like the enhanced version of good or okay, because as you know, if okay, good, and great were a Pokemon, okay would be the first form and great would be the final evolution. Sorry. <laughs> focus. Focus time. Focus time. We got ourselves water balloon tears. Yeah, we do. How awesome is that? So we're going to have a little bit of greedy fun with these. We'll go over the other ones as and when they become relevant. Though you can see a few of them lurking there in my items. But obviously, I don't want to be too powerful. I want to just see where this ends up going. But I very much like this. I don't know if the water balloon initial impact actually does damage. Oh, it does. Okay, that's interesting. I like that then. If I can get through these goddamn explosives. See, the water balloon kind of drew me because the description was, you know, with summer coming up, what more do you want but water balloons? And normally, as someone living in England, I'm like, summer? <laughs> what summer? Come on now. I'm like, ah, come on. I'm just going to be grumpy all summer. But recently, we've had back to back to back days of ridiculously incredible weather. Scorching sun every day, and it's just been absolutely awful. So awful. I've hated every second of it. Today, finally, it's cold again where everything is okay and the world makes sense because I just I just don't deal with heat very well. Alright, look, I should be happy we're having great sunshine, but I'm not. My office becomes an oven where I melt if I try and do anything. Like, I have a fan that is on, wafting cool, sweet, succulent air into my face. And then as soon as I turn the fan off to do anything, I mean, like, record, because you certainly don't want to... In the back of a video, I think that, was a that was a pretty good impression of a fan. You know, like, see, see how good of an impression you can do of a fan, I bet. I bet you can't top that. I really hope there's hundreds of people around the world now doing an impression of a fan. That would that would make my dreams come true. When I was a little boy, I dreamed of growing up and making people do fan impressions. Oh, yes. So before we continue talking about the heat, if you have a look at the coins on the floor, they're looking a little bit different, as are the icons on the left. What I've got on is just a really cool U mod that changes a few UI elements, a few of the visuals for stuff in the game, and just gives it a nice little extra sheen of colour and refinement and smoothness. Like a great piece of wood, it has been slicked. Not slicked, smoothed. We've not dipped it in oil. I... Don't dip wood in oil. Just, just don't do that. All right. Just trust me. All right. Don't dip your, your wood in oil. I realized as I was saying that sentence, that what the sentence could be. We're just gonna rapidly move on. Yes, we are. Let's go see what our items are gonna give us today. Probably should have re-rolled that, but we will take. Oh, I don't want Gemini either. I thought for some reason it was Pisces. Why did I think that was Pisces? That was a terrible mistake. Oh, I've bollocked it up now. I really have, but I might as well show you the other mods. We have ourselves a couple new bombs. Vacuum and shrapnel bombs. How awesome is that? Fires just a room of nails and blades as it goes out. It's absolutely great. And the suction is very strong, which is excellent as well. I'm just going to accept that. I am just going to accept that. So let's fight ourselves at some bosses. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh, I was really hoping that that would work out. And yes, look at that. I don't want to use too many of them because obviously bombs are very useful on greed. But how well made is that? It's just absolutely great. What fantastically inspired bombs. Just a burst of shrapnel. There is nothing like bits of sharp metal flying through the air at incredible speed ripping into the flesh of your enemies to really get you woken up in the morning. No, not as woken up in the morning as blistering heat will do. Yes, I have looped back round to the heat conversation.
conversation. I, I just, I can't sleep. Like, I just, I can't. I genuinely can't sleep anymore. It, I, I go to sleep at, like, uh, the, you know, let's say 2 in the morning, a nice early night, you know, when it should be the dead of night, when it should be really cold. And I walk into my room, and it's like, <laughs> holy hell, this is warmer than my office. Oh, my freaking God. Jesus. And it's just not good. So the other day, right, I had to get up at, 10 a.m. because it was too warm to sleep and I couldn't go back to sleep. 10 a.m. I've not seen that side of 12 o'clock in legitimately much, which again sounds bad, but you know, I, I don't have the greatest sleeping pattern in the world. So maybe this is a problem unique to me, but I don't know. How do you guys find it when there is really ridiculous extreme heat and you're just desperately trying to get to sleep, but it just feels like you're in an oven and it's so uncomfortable and it's all you can think about and you get mad at the heat and then you get mad that you're getting mad and then you can't sleep because you're mad at the heat and the fact that you're mad, so you get mad that you can't sleep and then you just keep getting mad and it's just a really vicious mad cycle. <laughs> also, there's a really angry person on a... Uh, Bike, mad, mad cycle. All right, I'm trying my best here. Don't, don't judge me. And it's just, oh, it's so bad. And you know what the worst part about it? Obviously, if it's so boiling, you want to sleep with the covers off, right? But if you sleep with the covers off, that means the monsters can get you, which is even worse. Genuinely, when I was younger, and 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 yes, when I was younger, let's let's go with when I was younger. I. Uh, Obviously, like many, many children, thought that if I was under blankets, that means the monsters can't get me. Obviously, now I realize I was being stupid. I mean, the monsters have claws. They can rip through blankets. They're, they're not going to protect you. I don't know what you're expecting. No, but I uh, had that kind of going on for me. So even when it was absolutely brutally warm weather, that's convenient. I used to be there under thick duvets, just absolutely passing out from heat. It, it was, I, I don't want to describe it because honestly it's quite bad but it was just unreal fortunately that's no longer as a thing but even then it's just so warm recently look i don't care if this entire goddamn mod of the week it's just me talking about how goddamn warm it has been recently because it has been so goddamn warm <laughs> and i just can't i just just can't you have no idea Alright, let's uh, slap some more water balloons. It's a fantastic way to go, though. It really, really is. Hell, I uh, even got so inspired by the weather the other day, I did a little bit of gardening. Yeah, you think about that, me gardening. And by that, I meant I got a strimmer and went at some grass, because strimmers are really good fun. I, I, you know, they're not good fun when you cut yourself in the leg, but in the general sense, they're fantastic fun. I mean, who doesn't want to twirl plastic round so fast that it shears through plant matter like a knife through butter? I mean, that is just where it's at. Now, only if I just had one of those lawnmowers that you can sit on and ride, then I would be all up for uh, keeping uh, the grass in check. But, you know, I uh, unfortunately don't have one of them. I've never been on a rideable lawnmower. I feel like it's one of those things in life that you can never truly appreciate until you actually go on one. And uh, I've just... I've just not been able to, you know? It's one of my dreams that I've never been able to fulfill. So anyone watching this that's ever been on a lawnmower that you sit on and ride, I I salute you. You have achieved something truly special in this life. You really have. I do love that, though. The pinnacle of uh, human engineering is to be lazy. I don't like lawn mowing, all right? Pushing it sucks. I'm going to make one that I just sit on and ride around. It's great, isn't it? Ah, oh, the inventions for the lazy are just the best thing. It really is. It makes the world go round. I cannot wait to see in 100 years time, for example, what kind of stuff we have going on just because it makes things a lot easier. Because I, I imagine there's going to be some ridiculously cool stuff. Oh, hello. This might actually be... Hang on a minute. The freaking purple balls don't damage you! Oh no, they do. They do. Okay, I thought for some reason this entire time the purple balls don't even damage you. I am actually going to die, probably. And I don't know really how to stop that from happening. Oh! Oh! Okay, I could just keep lobbing my water balloons. And then everything should be okay, right? Which is a really good life lesson, by the way. As long as you just keep lobbing your water balloons, then everything will be okay. Huh! Yeah! Alright!
it actually worked out. I can't believe I got away with that. <sighs> Reroll. How the hell does this interact? Oh my god, I have a giant telekinetic water balloon! <gasps> oh, have you ever got a water balloon attached it to a tap and just seen how full you can get it before it bursts? I feel like that's something everyone's done at one point in their lives, and it's and it's truly, truly a marked experience. So how is this gonna work? Oh. Oh, I no longer have any actual balloonness that it just it's just a normal I've lost my splash no I've lost my splash how have I managed to lose my splash <laughs> oh this is tragic this is absolutely tragic I will be back in just a hot minute then because we're talking about heat and uh, oh, we'll fix this we'll fix this note to self don't take Ludo technique don't take Ludo Technique. Though, well, since we're going to die anyway, I'll try and show you what this uh, bandana does that I've got wearing. There is a chance that when someone damages me, instead of it doing damage, I'll just instantly kill them. Hey! You see it triggered there. He damaged me. And there again! Look! The, the tear hit me, but instead I just phased out of existence and killed him. And... Oh. Oh, that's sad. Okay, that's not that sad. All right, uno momento, por favor. And we return everyone down the hatch and to the caves, and that's what we are currently doing. Look, I, I wanted that to have more of a shebang to it than it did, but, you know, it was okay. It was fairly shebangy enough. So we do have sinus tears, which are actually really quite fantastic with this. Ah, I don't want rotten meat. I don't even really want... Okay, that's actually quite good, but I gotta keep the D6, right? Surely. Maybe? Oh, it's a turret. It's a turret in green mode. That's got to be worth it, right? Surely that has to be worth it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, 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 so the plan, the plan, the plan is to stop repeating the same word over and over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the charge. I'm going to get one more D6 charge. Then I'm going to stop the waves, which I think at this point is worth. And then we're going to swap to the sprinkler because the sprinkler obviously in greed is pretty damn insane, or in theory should be. I mean, it might end up not being, but in theory, you know, in theory, it very much should be. Explode, explode, explode. <laughs> that was quite good. I like that. Expl I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. Kind of don't want little gish, but I don't really have a choice now, do I? So we'll grab ourselves the sprinkler and see how this goes. Yes, that's so good. So if we can get some extra tears and stuff, that's going to start coming in very, very handy. If only I'd taken the battery buffs from earlier, but I could not know. <laughs> No, I could not know. Oh, I will say, uh, the heat that I was discussing did cause my most recent awkward situation to happen. So, there was a dude that came around to the house like a couple weeks ago and basically was like, Yo, if you want, you can get free insulation put into your walls. Alright, it's free, it's a government initiative, and it'll save on your energy bills. And, you know, I've reached that point in my life where I care about my energy bills. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not good, is it? You know, when you're old enough to go, God, I really hope I save a little bit on my electricity bill this month. That really... Uh, it's time to let your childhood die. But, no. Either way, that was the thing. I was like, yeah, cool. I mean, if it's free, obviously I checked it was legit and all of that jazz. But, yeah, I was like, that's fine. And I was like, cool, I'll get it arranged for you. And I forgot when he told me it was actually happening. Like, I completely forgot what he told me. So, the other day... I wake up at like 10 in the morning because it's just so boiling and I just can't. And I'm just like, ah. And then I hear just very faintly a just mm, sound. All right. And obviously this turned out to be a power drill. But at the time I was like, what the hell is happening? So I'm, I'm like, I'm fevered warm. I'm tired. Uh, and I kind of look over to my right and have a look at my open bedroom door. And I'm like, why is my bedroom door open? I don't remember 
it being open. Danny wouldn't have left it open. She knows I like it closed when I'm asleep because she'd gone to work. And uh, I'm like looking at it and then I just see someone wearing a green fluorescent vest walk past the, the gap in the door and, and go into the bathroom. And I'm like, what? 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 Because obviously at that point it's like, um, like imagine that sound in a horror movie, you know, like, like you know, like the violin screech when a sudden like, oh, jump cutty, like scary thing happens, you know, that, that kind of sound effect. That's basically what played in my uh, head as this person zoomed past and I was like, that's not normal. I wasn't expecting any green fluorescent men today. And, I mean, uh, to be fair, one often does not expect green fluorescent men. But I was like, I did I imagine that? I must have imagined that. And, of course, I still didn't come to the conclusion that, hang on, maybe it's the people doing the work thing. So I, I kind of got out of bed and uh, got dressed and then went out and looked into the bathroom. And there was nobody there. Because they must have gone by this point. So now I'm obviously like, um, is, 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 am I, am I going, am I under attack? I don't know why I had the thought, am I under attack? Like I was being sieged in my home. But that's, that's a thought that I had. And I'm there like, I, huh. And then I could hear it again in the distance, the mm, sound. So I wandered downstairs. Wander downstairs, and I go downstairs again, and go into the kitchen, look right towards the conservatory, and there's just a dude there kneeling, drilling into the wall, the back door is open, and there's other people milling around the garden, and I'm like, what? So, <laughs> obviously, I'm like, a little bit concerned that this thing is suddenly happening and the words that escape my mouth also getting odd mushroom here is Fantastic especially for the turret the words that escape my mouth as I uh, as I'm standing there looking at this guy is stop drilling my house is uh, What I went for <laughs> And obviously Obviously. Oh, even more tears. Oh, what? That's maximum tears anyway. That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh my god, we can have a freaking red water balloon. That's not good. You never want blood in your water balloons. So I'm like, stop drilling my house. And he looks at me like I'm mental. And admittedly, I can't rightly blame him. I can't. And obviously it explains what he's doing. I'm like, oh yeah. That is actually a thing. I remember that now. I'm a moron. But just the initial moment where I had to yell at this guy to stop drilling. <laughs> my, like, why was that the phrasing that I chose? Of all things, why was that the phrasing? But it got straightened out and I realized and it turns out Danny let them in before she went to work. But it was a weird moment to wake up to like legitimately a very very weird moment so i need to get more turrets going up here and then we can start to dominate this greed ow i really wasn't expecting a laser turret there and then again a laser turret is definitely on the list of things that you probably don't expect at a consistent basis how good is uh, this item though like what a really fantastic item like just i love awesome tier effects like this because anything that makes me go oh i would synergy the hell out of you like i'm sidling up to someone to the bar hey baby you want to see my Synergy Lab. Oh, I could come up with a great concoction. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. My concoction. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Would you like to see? I bet you could totally get away with that. That's fine. It does seem like two turrets per floor is the optimum amount of turrets. Then again, you could probably get away with three. The issue is on the greed fight itself, I'm only going to have one. But that's not the end of the world. That was a poor showing on my part, but that's okay. Slap, 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 and goodbye, boss. Wait, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, Loki. I remember now. I remember the thing that happened like three seconds ago. Yep, come back, Fred. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, kill the other one with the turrets while we're doing this. Damn it! I should have realized. I should have known! 
Actually, if I could have put the turrets where the Fred spawn, that would have been really cool. Like, genuinely, it probably would have just instantly murdered them, right? Because every single one would have uh, just exploded inside them, and that would... That would have been fantastic. Alright, is this one dead? I'm assuming that this one is dead, so we've just got to kill this one instead. Please, Fred, please accept the water balloon fight fun. Please. I really do want to go paintballing, but the paintballs are water water guns. I think that would be so cool. Obviously, it would be really irritating to have a system where you could reload that many water balloons, you know, consistently and keep that going, but I also think it would be absolutely fantastic. See, a part of me does want to get Eve's mascara. Ah, I'm going to. Yeah, our tiers haven't gone that lower, and obviously the damage up is nice. The main deal is it just means that we can get tiers up again, which is something that I think is good, but yeah, look at even Mum's key. Like, how nice is that graphically? I really like it. God, I have packed water balloons now. I really do. They are just amazing. Okay. And onwards we go to the next floor. I wonder how we're gonna actually kill Greed here. The chances are not amazing. Oh my god, that's a nice little increase in damage there. We'll grab ourselves a box of stuff and, oh, I was, Admittedly expecting better stuff in my box of stuff, though the lovers are okay, and I guess Judas's tongue is better than a lot of things could have been. I'm gonna blow up these just for the odd chance at a spirit heart, so that works out. And we do have some rerolls to make. I like how it sucks them through the rocks. Now, that is some powerful suction if you get absorbed through a rock. Did that? Oh my god, it can fire a chaos card out! That's kind of amazing. That is really kind of amazing. All right, we're going to re-roll once more. Just say, hey, there we go. We've got ourselves tears to buy, which is exactly what I need now. And an extra five moolah. That is good. What have you got for me? Curse room, blank rune, and a bit of burkada. Which, I suppose, is, is whatever, right? All right, turret number one. There you go. Ah, oh, don't you just hate it when you get suddenly attacked in the back by a leech that explodes? It's just the way. <laughs> oh, you know, in movies and, you know, also in real life when, oh my god, it's luck, they've got bombs in their heads! Oh, that's such a good way of representing them! Color me impressed, mod. Color me impressed at your coloring in skills. But yeah, you're going through like a swamp and instead of just leeches attaching to your legs and then you get out and you gotta like rip them off. Leeches attached to your legs when you leave the water, they just explode. Then again, that wouldn't be a very good habit for an actual sustainable, successful animal ecosystem because if your species has a defensive measure that involves exploding itself on contact, there is a chance that you just wipe yourselves out and that's probably, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, not the most correct thing to do. I do wonder what would happen if we got Ipecac with the water balloon. I assume it would just be fantastic, right? Because there would just be so many explosions everywhere. Then again, without immunity to explosions, there is a good chance that I do just die horribly, like the second that happens. So perhaps it is... For the best. All right, we'll do our devil deal. What have we got? Oh, a really, really easy one. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Don't you just like it when something's easier than you expect? I think there is definitely a joke in here somewhere, but I'm going to resist making it. For once, I'm going to value my levels of maturity. I know, I know, you heard me correctly, but that's what I'm going to do. For realsies. And devil. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, mighty devil. Ah. You want me to give me you my soul for that? Come on. Wait, what? We really can't get any more tears than this? Surely we can get more tears than this. What is happening right now? I swear, even with his mascara, you can end up with ridiculous tears. Like, that's a thing that can happen. Am I... Am I forgetting how... How this game works, which would be bad if I am. Did I not pick up an item on that floor? There's a chance that I did. I'm, I'm kind of losing faith with myself, guys. I'm a little bit concerned that I might be messing stuff up and I don't know how to stop it. I am a little bit on the worried side of things. We'll get our turret going. That should be fine. If I could get item, Marta. 
that would be pretty damn good as well. I feel like my t Oi! There we go. Did you see that? That was great. Damn it, explosive leech for once. Will you please just leave me alone? <laughs> Oh my god, let's get this other turret going. Why are people just not dying with any speed? Turret, you are being useless. Come on. My giant water balloons did just not contain enough moisture for this kind of onslaught. I am so severely low on liquid and apparently my voice is suddenly completely fine. I, I was worried for no reason, as it turns out. Oh, hello. Come to give me a hand, have you? <laughs> well, the joke's on you, because I do actually need one. That's very, very kind of you. I, uh, if you could help me lift those things upstairs, that would be great. Don't you just hate it when you're in a stranger's house and they ask you to lift something upstairs? Alright, so we'll leave that as that, otherwise we won't get another turret back before the next floor. Actually, no, we would have done, but we're a little bit too late now, so I'm just going to have to accept this and hope that death doth melt. Oh, there's still one more death alive. How dare there? How dare there? Oh, we got it? Did we get it? I feel like we got it. Did we, get, did we get it? What the hell hit it? I guess a turret? Also, there's a lot of boogatiers just kind of attached to that spiked block over there. I wonder how it feels about that. Alright, careful. Did a little bit of a cool kung fu way dodgy there, which is fantastic. Like, the animation for it is so good. It is just straight teleports behind you. You made me use 10% of my power. <laughs> Stain, goodbye stain. We are actually doing a lot of damage and that's not helpful. Well, it might be helpful. Tears up. Apparently I'm not allowed any more tears up. So as it turns out, it's not helpful at all. The real question then is what do I do with my last bit of money? I think I re-rolled just because... Oh, if only I could have gotten the sacks earlier. Is a sentence not often said, but if only I could have gotten the sacks earlier. <laughs> I don't need a lump of coal. I mean, I'm looking for something really ridiculous, no, you know? Something that's going to make me go, <sighs> that's what I want. And unfortunately, I've not found it. So we're just going to grab ourselves a load of spirit hearts and then move on with our water balloonness down into the deep, dark greed fight. Where there are no laws, no rules, it is you battling for survival against a golden god. He who represents greed and all that it entails. Then again, the pure representation of greed would have to be really greedy. And that's a really destructive trait to have in such abundance. So perhaps if you were someone that represents one of the aforementioned sins, it's probably better to not. Because if you have to act like your sin, like imagine representing wrath, you know, full male alchemist thing. If you are wrath incarnate, then you're just going to be really angry about everything. Even just like going to order a coffee in a cafe, like I really want a coffee! Give me one right now! Ah! Like, you know, you just can't operate in real life like that. And if you're, you know, if you're representing envy, you know, I really like your uh, coffee. I wish I had that coffee. Why can't I have that coffee? Why don't you get to have that coffee when I should have that coffee? Sir, are you ordering a coffee? No, I need your coffee. Get yourself a coffee and then give it to me. It just, it's not sustainable. You know, I, like, I don't think any of them is. Like, we can't have Raph angry all the time. We can't have Envy. Gluttony, I mean, gluttony could kind of work, but then you'd be incredibly unhealthy incredibly fast, and that's not that good. Sloth. I mean, actually, with sloth, you'd be too slothful to act like sloth, so technically speaking, you could almost counter it out. Can you be so lazy that you go into the negatives and start being active because you are so lazy? Is that possible? Is that kind of transcendent level of thinking something we can agree on today? Perhaps. Perhaps. Obviously, lust is, uh, well... It's going to be quite creepy if you're unable to control that wherever you go, is it? It's like, I need a coffee. Okay, I'm not, not, in fact, what am I, what was that? I'm not going to try and act ordering a coffee while being incredibly lustful, which is a sentence I never thought I would have to say nor specify on this channel, but it looks like surely I have to do. Oh, what else have we got? What else have we got? We've got pride. Oh, 
Oh, I guess you could have pride. I guess uh, pride kind of works. Taking pride in everything is probably the least destructive of the sins, right? That would kind of make sense. I pride myself on my ability to regularly order coffee. Yeah, you could totally get away with that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that one is acceptable. Hopefully, we can do a little bit more damage a little bit quicker to our greedy friend here as we explode our water balloons. You know, honestly, this really is one synergy where having default tiers is kind of nice. Just because they look the best coming out of it, you know? It's a water balloon. I'm not going to have blood lasers inside my water balloon. You know, that's a really extreme way. You've got to be real competitive at a water fight to show up with blood lasers in your water balloons. I don't think you want to be that guy. I really don't. Look, we have loads of health. Something tells me that we're not going to be struggling to uh, complete this fight. So yeah, there we go. We got really cool bomb types. We got this cool kung fu headband, water balloon bombs, and then just a really nice smooth makeover of some items, hood elements, and some enemies. I really like the mods today, and I hoped you enjoyed our play. Thanks anyway. My name is Spin Rage. Like you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. A good boy.